If you have heart palpitations or heart arrhythmias, does coffee make it worse? Stay tuned, I've got answers. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click that button, hit that bell, so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman, or Dr. Blake for short. I'm a board certified nephrologist and I'm also the cooking doc, and I am here to answer your questions about coffee and your health. Remember that just because I am a kidney doctor, I am not your doctor. So please don't take this as medical advice. This is just for informational purposes. Only discuss any health changes with your doctor or your medical practitioner. Disclaimer done. One of the things I hear all the time for people who come to see me in their office, if they have heart disease or cardiac arrhythmias, meaning their heart beats irregularly or, or funny, such as atrial fibrillation or premature ventricular contractions. Well, they always say, well, I've cut out my coffee. My doctor told me to stop drinking that coffee since I started having these problems with my heart. And that has made sense for a long time because we have thought that the caffeine or coffee can stimulate the heart and cause it to go out of rhythm. But is that really the case according to medical data? Well, it turns out that we had a great study that was published in 2021, and it was a big one. So in that study, they looked at almost 400,000 people. It's an observational study, so not a placebo, randomized controlled trial. So there are some problems, but it's a big one. And what they looked at is to see whether or not people who drink more coffee have more heart arrhythmias. Is their heart more out of rhythm? Do they have more palpitations, things like that? and the results that they found were actually amazing. This study found that people who had more coffee had less cardiac arrhythmias. That's right, you heard me. The more coffee, the less association with heart arrhythmias. It's exactly the opposite of what we have thought for many years. Now let's break this down to what this means in the real world. First, everybody is different to caffeine and coffee. So you may be more sensitive to it than other people. Remember, this is a study of a lot of people and a generalization not related to you specifically. Second, this is an observational trial, so we can't really generalize this and say that you drink more coffee to prevent you from having a heart arrhythmia. That's not the way the observational trials work. This is just whether or not there is a correlation between those two things correlation between people who drink more coffee and have less heart arrhythmias. Third, and I think this is the bottom line, if you have a heart arrhythmia and if you like to drink coffee, you may be able to do it without triggering any additional heart problems and you may be able to do it safely. Discuss this with your doctor, give it a try. This study suggests it may actually be possible to enjoy that morning cup of coffee. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Dr. Blake. The Cooking Doc. Check out my book, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10-step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease, and we'll see you next time.